Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation x power 5 minus x power 4 minus x square equals to 5x power 3 plus 6x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to observe. We can see the highest degree of this polynomial is 5. No wonder such kind of polynomial is called quintic. And moreover, since the highest degree of this polynomial is 5, therefore we are going to have at most 5 roots or sometimes we call it solutions or zeros. And here's our very first step. Let's move these terms on the left hand side. And here's our new equation where we can see that this 5x power 3 has become negative 5x power 3 and this 6x become negative 6x. And moreover, this equation is in a descending order. Now we can see on the left hand side x is in common so I can factor x outside and inside parentheses this is going to become x power 4 minus x power 3 minus 5x square minus x minus 6 equals to 0. And now we are going to manipulate this polynomial inside this parentheses so we can find the factors of this. Now since we are dealing with this uh, constant negative 6 so therefore we are going to manipulate this one. We are going to tweak this negative 5x square. We can write this one as negative 6x square plus 1x square. Now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms inside this parentheses. I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to put these one together. I'm going to put this x power 4 and this x square together. And likewise this uh, negative x cube and this uh, negative x. So therefore we can write x time. I'm going to write down x power 4. And I'm going to bring this uh, plus x square. And then I'm going to put down negative x power 3 minus x minus 6x square minus 6 equals to 0. And now we can see a clear pattern. We can see that we have a x square is in common between these first two terms. We have a negative x in common over here and likewise negative 6 is common over here. So therefore our this equation is going to become x and I'm going to put down bracket and in this first two term we have x square is in common and inside the parentheses we're going to have x square plus 1. Likewise negative x is in common over here. We're going to have x square plus 1 and finally negative 6 is in common over here. We got x square plus 1 and then we're going to close the bracket equal to 0. And now we can see x square plus 1, x square plus 1 and likewise x square plus 1 they are in common. So therefore our this equation could be written as x outside inside this bracket. I can write this one x square minus x minus 6 times this factored part is x square plus 1 equals to 0. And now let's focus on this trinomial. And here I have copied down this trinomial and we are going to find the factors of this. So let's go ahead and find the factors of this one. I can write x and then in parentheses and once again x and in parentheses as well. And now let's focus on this constant negative 6. This is going to show up uh, on the top of this x factor and this middle number negative 1 is going to be at the bottom over here. Then the factors of this negative 6 is going to be positive 2 and negative 
3 because if we multiply these two factors we are going to get negative 6 and if we add these two factors we are going to get negative 1. So therefore I'm going to write down this positive 2 right up here and this negative 3 factor right here. So therefore these x plus 2 and x minus 3 are the factors of this uh, trinomial and in this next step I have replaced this trinomial by these factors and now since all these factors are equal to 0 I can separate them I can write x equal to 0 the second factor x plus 2 equal to 0 and the third factor is x minus 3 equal to 0 and finally x square plus 1 equal to 0 and here we can see x equal to 0 is one of our solutions and here in this next equation x is going to be equal to negative 2 this is our another solution and here we're going to have x equals to positive 3 as our another solution and for this equation let's move this one on the other side so therefore we got x square equals to negative 1 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides and here this uh, square and square root undo each other so we got x equals to and just keep in your mind that the square root of negative 1 is always i where i is our imaginary number or sometimes we call it iota so therefore x is going to be equal to positive or negative i where i is an imaginary number and thus here are our solutions out of which these three are our real solutions whereas these two are our imaginary solutions thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye